We're used to writing numbers in what's called standard form, which is basically when you write out all the letters, or sorry, all the numbers that are in a number. So if you have one million, you write one and then a string of zeros afterwards. What scientific notation is, is a way to write those numbers out more simplistically. So basically, in science, physics, chemistry, all those things, we're dealing with really large or really small numbers, okay? And instead of writing out all those zeros, what comes in handy is writing things as a times 10 to the n. So you're really writing them as powers of 10. And basically, the only rule for scientific notation is that a, this term we're multiplying by, the absolute value has to be between 1 and 10. Okay, I say the absolute value because this a term could be positive or negative. So basically, it has to be between 1 and 10. If a is 14 or something like that, we need to adjust our 10 to move that decimal back over one spot. Just like if it was 0.1, we would have to move that decimal over the other direction. Okay, so scientific notation is just an easy way of writing really big or really small numbers.